I've heard nothing but negative things about these max speeding coilovers, but I rode in a friend's car with these ones specifically. Apparently these are the V2 version of these coilovers. Now, why would I get these when I already have coilovers on my car? Because I live in New Hampshire and the Rev9 coilovers images will be right here so that you can see. They have pretty much rusted out at this point, so I cannot adjust the ride height. And before I ended up getting my Honda Civic as my secondary car, I was lifting the car up and then dropping it during the summertime so that I could daily drive it year round. But when it was winter, I would end up lifting the car up. So because of that, I ended up getting these to see what they are like comfort wise and at at least from what i am feeling and seeing right now they don't feel as bad as people are making them out to be are they racing coilovers no but at the same time pretty much like any lower end coilover is literally just meant to make your car look the way that you want it to it's like comparing a honda to a lamborghini one is just it does its job it gets you from point a to point b and it's a vehicle and then the Lamborghini is is also gets you from point A to point B, but it's meant for the track and it goes way faster and it's just better overall. So like it really comes down to what you want to do. If you're going to race your car, don't get these. If you're going to drift your car, don't get these. Like these are specifically meant for people that just want to lower their car, which they do. And I lowered it. I put it to the whatever lower thing anyways and benefit of these they do have quite a bit of camber adjustment and they they're not going to come like this so basically most coilovers have um it's hard for me to okay so there's there's usually one here and then one here but this has like four different adjustments for like camber to tuck in to you know make your wheel um, or fitment, I guess, be the way that you want it to. So overall, I'll have another video going over my actual thoughts on, on my own car, but I kind of already have an idea because my friend has these on his car and I don't think they're, they're bad. Like, are they like comfortable? They're, they're not stock suspension and they're not air suspension, but they're not like, oh, Hey, my back hurts from riding in my car. My Rev9 coilovers are not that way either. And it I don't understand like why, like it's not like these have like spring, like things in between them to make it like not move at all. So I don't really understand the comfort. But anyways, this is the front uh, coilover. This is gonna be the rear one. Oh, I can. Okay, that was the first time I tried. So, I mean, I, you can actually adjust the dampening with your fingers. So I'm gonna max them out. I literally don't like, I literally don't care about like the I literally don't care about the comfort dude like my like all I, I like my car looking the way I want it to I really don't like if if I wanted my car to perform to the maximum I wouldn't have got these that is not who these are for long-term impressions will probably come come in a few months because I want to actually use the things uh, so yeah overall I recommend them like I mean you can kind of see how thick that that's literally double the size of the rev nine coilovers there's an ungodly amount of camber adjustment with the top plate and i mean i don't really like the color but it is what it is but yeah recommend them so far